Is that what they'd help me? To get help? This is subject 12-19-86-23, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Okay. So, experiment one, internal analysis. Subject J1986MEM is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal... Required apparatus for x-ray. Camera, monitor set to x-ray, charge, CC86 x-ray device. TV input modes, R3, IR, and x-ray. Okay. Okay, how do I do that? Oh, press tab. Okay, there we go. So we got to turn the monitor on to x-ray. Oh, God damn it. So camera, monitor set to x-ray and charge CC86 x-ray device. Okay, so the camera is on. We got to charge. Oops. Okay, good work. The x-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Experiment complete. Okay. Sur experiment two, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with. Required apparatus, laser two light generator set wavelength. And okay, and monitor set to RGB. So we wanna turn the camera off. Monitor set to RGB. Uh, laser to light generator set wavelength, and we need to set that to red. So that's 650. Oh, I need the camera on. Okay. We're ready.
No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Uh, increase, use the green laser. Green is 510. Why is it a heart? Is that a human heart? Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 2C, blue laser. Blue is 455. Oh, snap! Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Okie dokie. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to 1. So we need a signal generator, set frequency and waveform, amplifier, set gain. So we turn that off. So we want a sine wave, which is the middle one. And 250 hertz with amplifier gain at 1. Is there not a fast way to do this? Uh, we finished the text adventure part. I kind of got myself spooked. And now we're into episode two of the same game meta. Same game, just episode two. Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Basically, we, uh, we went up to the room, turned the computer on, plugged it in. And then we were playing the game while where someone else was coming in the house, and then it was just spooky, and then it ended. It told us to say it was our fault, and then it just ended. I don't know, it was a little weird. Uh, 3B, uh, increase the frequency to 500 hertz sine wave and amplifier gain of 5. Okay. Okay, so 5. This is gonna blow up or something. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Should we increase? Do the risk of damage? What about the volunteer? volunteer. Okay, we're going to push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Switch to square wave, maintaining everything else. Oh, hang on. Which one is square wave? First one. Okay. Activity on this side, seeing death That's spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. Sure, why not? Maintain the gain five and the square waveform. Bring the waveform frequency up to one kilohertz. 
All right. What are you talking about? We just blew the heart up. What, what are we still experimenting on? The protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. Uh, switch drill on. Ensure all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. Okay. Contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. Use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Do not leave the container unattended during experimentation. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated HR. <laughs> Alright. Uh, This is the epilepsy warning, I gotcha. You can do this. It's time to remember. I have no idea if I have epilepsy. We'll find out. <laughs> Jesus. Wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity. You force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Get out. Cryopod? Uh, 
I don't get as impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. Hold breath. The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. You are now stood next to the computer terminal. Look at terminal. The monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks usable. Use terminal. You tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. Um. Go into airlock. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These oh god, I gotta look at his thing again. The others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else is high. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Bright, Agent, please continue. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. The crash site. Smoke billows from the downed ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Uh, go to vehicle. Look at stars. You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. Look at ship. There is no going home in this. The symbols and writing on the ship are barely visible anymore. Wreckage. Wreckage surrounds you. Some of this metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Move metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look at the lights. You squint at the light, trying to shield your visor lens at the same time. It is a circle of artificial lights set up around you to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Walk towards silhouette. Run. Look at figure. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. Well, that's reassuring. That's reassuring. Christ. We awake. The room is silent, only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. We are in a bed, in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. 
We didn't put the 17 in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? They have tortured us. The screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers and rhythm. A series of wires leave the machine and run across to our chest, attached in different places. We aren't sure if the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. What just happened? What's that alarm? There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab steam. Find out what's going on. Oh snap, we connected to a different specimen. We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the ancient co adjacent corridor. Doctor, specimen 20 has left lab 15. It's on the move. My god. That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening <laughs> right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. Hmm. I don't know. We got a new connection ready. Jesus! You know when you're looking so intently at a monitor, and then something just pops up at you? Yeah, that's fucking creepy. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us, and a lock clamps shut. We are alone. Slash together. It is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets, with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut and the other door had an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a table holding only a small device taken from your slash it slash my slash our ship. It was an access code terminal for a wide connection, allowing commanders to com commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to these codes. It's time to use them. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we've put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. I don't know what code to actually pick. I don't know where I'm looking. Oh, I see. No, that's not it. I don't know what you tell me the first one is. Oh, I see. So the first one is right. Fuck.
There we go. I was like, I can guess work my way through it eventually. They're all free. They're converging. It's over. They made me their proxy. They had to know this was coming. Don't spook me. Don't spook me, please. Take me with you. This will haunt you. 